Some say when you have seen one car factory, you have seen them all. And I don't know about you, but I have seen my share of car factories around the world by now. So what on earth am I doing here? Well, this one right behind me might just be that little bit more interesting. First of all, it's one of the biggest car manufacturing sites in the world. It is filled with interesting technology and normally it's not that easy to gain access. Until now, because we are among the first journalists ever who are allowed to enter. And you are invited as well. So this is the Giga Factory from Tesla in Berlin, Germany. And this is the Fully Charged Show. Love the Fully Charged Show? Join us live in Canada this September, the South in October, and Australia and London in 2025. Who better to check out a huge car factory than a huge car guy? Please give a warm Fully Charged Show welcome to Roland Tamerling. Right, here we are, the Tesla Giga Factory in Berlin, Germany. And yes, I need to put on some protective gear just to make you guys laugh about it. You know, Tesla, so Elon Musk and his teams are calling these places Giga for a reason. Because these factories are absolutely massive. Oh, we've got something in common. I knew we should have sent Imogen to do this. But anyway, to put that in perspective, the whole area where they are building these cars equals about three square kilometers, so 1.2 square miles. And it equals about 31 football fields or soccer fields if you live in Silicon Valley. One more interesting fact, Tesla uses the widely accepted measuring technique of the hamster to show how massive these places are. No, for real, the company claims that they can fit about 41 billion hamsters inside this facility. Right, carry on. That's what I love about car factories. You hear the buzzing going around, sparks flying, robots doing their job. And what are we doing today exactly? Well, sparks flying around, that's what I said. We are following a guided tour. So actually, I'm pretty curious myself what we are going to learn and see today. But as soon as I hear or see something very interesting, I will share it with you immediately. What I do know is that in this Giga factory, Tesla is producing battery cells, battery packs, electric drivetrains for electric vehicles and of course this is the place where all of these people and all of these robots are producing the world's best-selling electric vehicle on the planet. You know what it is, right? Do you recognize it already? Indeed, this is the starting point of the Tesla Model Y. Tesla claim that this factory, this Giga factory in Berlin, is their most modern, sustainable and efficient factory even compared to the other five Giga factories around the world. You have one in Texas, in Nevada, California, New York and Shanghai. But for some reason in Germany they are doing the best they can. And what I do know is that they are able to produce up to 500,000 Model Ys a year. There you go. Right, Marco, you might say a paint shop is a paint shop, but you say this is the most advanced paint shop in the world. Can you tell us why exactly and what is different to the others? Different to the other ones is, of course, that we deleted a lot of processes which are not really necessary, also not for the customer. And this gives us the possibility, for instance, building a longer paint line so that we can offer the special colors. And uh, what have you changed exactly then? No, what we have changed is um, the first idea was always deleting processes which are not really needed. So which is, for instance, an additional oven. So that's where we are running an all wet process, wet sealer, wet application directly through one oven, mm -hmm. which also makes the factory very efficient. So and also the paint job very efficient, of course. Yeah, but how do you ensure quality then? Because I think we all know that the first Teslas that came off the production line didn't have the best paint jobs in the world. Um, how have you improved the process and the quality then? Also, one topic is eliminating processes because each manual process can add failures to the car. Mm -hmm. So that's why no people are involved here. So that means we have an automatic cleaning, an automatic lower, automatic stations, and we have a camera system which is checking the entire surface in the end. And you mentioned the Quicksilver and the Midnight Cherry Red, right? Those are colors that have specifically been designed here. Yes. Uh, is that um, is this paint shop the only paint shop in the world that does that now? Um, not really. Quicksilver also got recently launched in uh, Shanghai and in Texas. Mm -hmm. Midnight Cherry Red, we are the only ones who are painting this. And this is due to the special layer, so that means our paint line is almost 300 meters long. 
So that means we can apply the seven layer directly, mm -hmm. which the other one just can't apply in one sequence. All right. Would you say the quality has improved because of Germany or because of Tesla? Yeah, this is a bit of a question I get asked very <laughs> often. So yeah. that means, of course, I guess we are looking at the car a bit differently. And most of us, we have an automotive background from other OEMs? car manufacturers, OEMs. So and of course, we came with a certain knowledge and also requirement. And also Elon was here very often and he said clearly that he wants to get the best quality car out of Grunheide. Right, you can hear it loud and clear. We have arrived in the stamping area. And the sound you hear in the background is not some big dinosaur stomping its way to Berlin. It is this humongous pressing machine. Right, but how does it work exactly? It's pretty simple. You take a big plate of aluminium and you put it into the machine and then in four to five stations it gets stamped further and further until it has the shape of a front, rear or a side panel of a Tesla Model Y. But the sound is actually pretty frightening. So yeah, every car factory does feel like a car factory, let's be honest. But this one does have some little Tesla geekiness to it. For example, you see more and more, yeah, boring gray walls getting graffiti. You have this even brighter colored slide where employees can slide down. And of course, Tesla wouldn't be Tesla if they don't give their machines some funky names. This robot behind me is Godzilla, for example. Down there, King Kong is working. And as you can see, it is called Godzilla because it's able to lift an entire body and weight of a Model Y up to the next level of the facility. All right, to be honest, until now, the Gigafactory Berlin has felt like a car factory, but now we are at the casting part of the factory, and this feels more like a heavy industrial plant. And the Giga casting is also, at one point, this factory is making a leap forward compared to other factories. And fellow Dutchman, Peter Bus can tell us everything about it. Can you tell me what is the big leap in terms of technology that you are doing different than other factories? Yeah, of course. Uh, so we're in the die casting factory here. What we're basically doing is we're collecting raw materials, as you've seen, like the raw ingots of aluminum. Yeah. And we're using those to melt them at 700 degrees and then turning them into one giant, or we call giga, casting part. So yeah. it's like, usually these parts aren't as big, so this is really the biggest castings in the world that yeah. you're seeing here. You see it here lying behind us because normally Correct. a car, the rear section of a car chassis is like made up of 70 onto 100 parts, different parts that are bolted together or welded or whatever. But this is just liquid aluminum, goes into the system, is pressurized into 6,000 tons, um, and then just one part comes out. And that is a major leap in terms of efficiency in the quickness in which you can build cars, and also saving costs, right? For sure, like we don't, like traditional OEMs would have like a whole line with robots assembling parts, the whole logistics that comes along with it to just bring all the parts, make sure that they're in time, that they're good in quality. We have replaced all that by just one like machine. It's a big machine, but it allows us to just produce a part from raw materials. And that's right. very like special what we're doing here. Yeah. So. And you hear the hissing behind us, you hear the clunking of the parts of aluminum that are broken off and thrown away. How long does it take as soon as you push the aluminium in to form a part like this? Uh, that's within like seconds, the parts in this like mold. Yeah. It takes a couple of seconds, maybe 10 to like cool down uh, before the robot extracts it and then places it on this conveyor. So it's really like within the blink of an eye that you have this whole form filled and we can like get a part out. All After right. that, there are some post-processing steps, but it's so much faster compared to like getting the different parts, different elements here and yeah. welding those together. You're using this on Model Y and you're using it on the Cybertruck. Correct. And yes. also this whole process was meant for Model 2 or the smaller Tesla that is coming out. But then Elon wanted to do it in one part, right? The whole chassis. But that's still a bridge too far. Can you tell us about that or is that not I allowed? can't say too much about it. Like it's all also not what we're working on here. Like here we're doing the rear part of the uh, chassis of the body. Yep. Um, what happens in the future, and I think we're happy with this technology, so we'll definitely continue. Yeah. What exactly it will look like, 
future will tell. Oh, the future will tell. You're just still keeping us on our toes. Of course. Thank you, man. No, no worries. My pleasure. This is where the marriage happens. This area is called the General Assembly area, so this is where the General Assembly of the Model Y takes place, and where the car is married. These AGVs, or Automated Guided Vehicles, they enter with the bottom section of the Model Y, so containing uh, the battery pack and the drivetrain, uh, rear motor or two motors, and then it slowly but surely gets coupled to the upper section of the car, which is the body in this case, and slowly but surely they are bonded into wholly electric matrimony. Congratulations! So this happens every 45 seconds of every single day here in Berlin. A brand new Tesla Model Y ready to hit the road. I think we can safely say that Tesla has improved the way we make modern electric cars in a significant way. It's become faster, cheaper and more eco-friendly, if you might say. By pushing efficiency, they have lowered the prices we pay for our cars. And that made me think back to that other revolutionary cars from the Americans back in 1908. Back then, it took Ford about 12 hours to produce a Model T from start to finish. And ordinary Americans paid about $850 for their car. But after Henry Ford introduced the moving assembly line, they gradually got it down to about one and a half hours for producing a single vehicle and consumers needed to pay about $260. A significant improvement, and we can only hope that history will repeat itself thanks to these enormous factories like this Gigafactory from Tesla in Berlin. By improving efficiency and lowering prices, getting electric mobility to a broader audience. That's all the, uh, we, we ever want, right? That's what we're hoping for. So, Elon, I'm looking at you, please, Keep improving and keep bringing us a 25,000 euro or dollar Tesla. It's about time. There's another one, 45 seconds. Please remember to like and subscribe this video. And if you have been, thanks for watching.